first thing most people think about when planning on how they're going to make money with their directory website is by selling featured listings, which of course is a great idea, but don't let single-mindedness have you miss out on other opportunities for monetizing your website. For example, you can also sell advertising space on your website and directory listings. In this video, I'll show you how to set up the advertising add-on for GeoDirectory from Get Paid so you can sell and set up ads on your website. With this add-on, you could display ads from third-party services like Google AdSense, or you can even set up and sell your own ads independently on your website. Let's get started. All right, so here we are starting out in the dashboard, and the first thing we want to do um, is install the advertising add-on. So you're going to want to go to GeoDirectory and then extensions and then scroll down and let's find advertising. There it is. And this is actually, I actually already installed this one, um, which is why you can see the advertising um, link already up here. Uh, if you didn't, which you probably haven't yet, just click the install button and then click activate, um, just like any other add-on. Um, this is a paid add-on, so you do either have to pay for it or get the subscription to GeoDirectory. And then when you're done with that, let's go ahead and check out the settings. So then hover over advertising and go to settings. Now on this page, the first thing I want you to pay attention to is where you can choose the cart. Now this plugin is made by the same people that do the get paid cart. Um, so you do need to have that plugin installed and active to use this add on. I do have a tutorial showing you how to do that and I will link it below. Next, you can choose which page is going to have the advertising dashboard on it. I'm just going to leave it on the default page that the plugin created. And the two other things that are really worth paying attention to on this page is paid ad status and HTML ads. Um, you probably want to set it to pending review here when people pay for an ad. You're going to want to look and make sure the ads are cool before you allow them on your site. You don't want to allow just anybody to put any ad on your site, even if they pay for it. So you're going to probably want to set this to pending review. Next, we have HTML ads. Um, here you can choose do not allow HTML ads at all, only allow in the admin area, or allow HTML ads altogether. Again, I really wouldn't allow it for everybody unless you wanted to maybe, you know, allow them to do videos for their ads, but it's, you probably, you probably aren't going to want that. Um, if you're going to do like HTML ads for this are really good. If you're doing like third party ads, I'm going to show you in this video how you would, um, put AdSense on your website through this plugin. So if you wanted to do that, you could choose only allow HTML ads in the admin area, or you could just do no HTML ads at all. I'm going to check to allow it in the admin area, and then I'm going to hit save changes. Next, let's go ahead and peek at that advertising dashboard page that was made. So go ahead and go to pages and then view this advertising dashboard page. Now how this page works is after your advertisers register with your site, create an account, sign in, on this page, they'll be able to create new ads, manage existing ads, or look at stats and reports to see how their ads are performing. But you can also create ads manually through the back end, which I will show you how to do in this video. So let's go ahead and head back to the dashboard. Now, before we go forward, I want to talk a little bit about how this plugin works. So technically, it's a plugin for Get Paid that works really well for GeoDirectory, which also works really well with Get Paid because it's all made by the same company. So with that being said, it's made to work alone without GeoDirectory, but if you do have GeoDirectory, it has really cool things like letting you do listing ads and letting you add the zone to a, um, a package, like add an ad zone to a package. So when people buy that premium package, they also buy advertising in that ad zone. So let me show you that real quick by I'm going to one of my custom post types and then I'm going to settings and then I'm clicking on the packages tab and then I am going to edit my premium listing and then when I scroll all the way down we're going to see an advertising box and here you can choose which advertising zone um, the new listing would be advertised with. 
Now, I don't have any zones set up yet, but if I did, when I clicked here where it says select package, the zone would be there. And then, as always, if you're making changes on this page, don't forget to click save changes before you leave. Now, this could be really cool, for example, like if you wanted to put an advertising zone on top of the listing results, you could make it so paid listings would show up first. So it's kind of how Google does the search results with their paid ads first and then organic ads after. So with that being said, let's go ahead and create a zone. So go to advertising and then click zones. So what a zone is, is a place on your website where the ads will go. So ads go inside zones and every ad should be inside a zone. And these zones get put into your site either by automatic rules, code snippets that you can put into templates, or short codes. And you should note that only site admins can create zones. Advertisers cannot. So let's go ahead and create a zone now. So I'm gonna click Add New. And the first thing you wanna do is add a title, uh, Test Zone. Now there's three different ways that you can sell these ads in your zones. And you can do that by impressions, clicks, or days. After you choose how you want to charge for this ad, make sure to go ahead and put a price in there. Next, you can pick if you want to show the title or not. I'm going to hit no. Um, this is for the size of the ad. I'm going to just leave this as default. If you want to set this, feel free. This shows how many ads in the zone are visible at the same time. I'm going to leave that as default. Now, here are the different type of allowed ad types you can do with this add-on. You've got text ads, which are just going to be text that are, of course, clickable to go to the website. You could do an HTML ad, which we talked a little bit about already. I'm just going to go ahead and remove that from here um, because I'm not allowing that on my site if it is just an advertiser buying an ad. And then we also have image ads, which are like text ads, but images also clickable and listing ads, which is only available if you're using GeoDirectory. And that ad will show the listing. Next, we have how many as maximum ads do you want to allow, keeping it as default. Um, I'm not going to display these as a grid. You have the ability to do it here. And you can also hide this zone in the front end if you don't want people to be able to choose it from that advertising page that we were looking at earlier. Then you can choose if you want to show an advertise here link. Uh, this is obviously going to be very cool to you if you are selling ads on your site to make it as easy as possible for people to advertise with you. And then you can choose where that link goes for the advertise here URL area. If you check this box, this says link to GeoDirectory. That means users will only be able to add ads to the zone when they publish a listing on your site. I'm gonna leave that blank. And then you can put a zone description here to kind of tell uh, where the ad is going to be on your site. Like, for example, if we were talking about the example that we were talking about earlier, you could say this, these ads go on top of the search results. And then we've got some more um, advanced display roles. And here you can show different places you want to show or hide these ads. And then if you scroll down, we get usage details. So these are the different ways that these ads are going to show up on the site. Now, if you keep ad injection here, that means anything you picked on these display rules up here are going to be where the ad shows. You can also click this drop down and select any of these other options for placement. Or if you want more control, you can turn off all the display rules and only put the short code in the page wherever you want to display the zone. Or you also have this code here that you can put into the templates if you are really hardcore and edit your template files. And there's also a widget that you can add to any widget area. Now let's scroll up. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna put HTML ads back here because I wanna show you how those work with third-party ads. Um, so go ahead and click publish when you're done. And now let's make an ad. So we'll go to ads and then we'll go add new ad. And then we'll put a test here also. And then next you have the option to choose the advertiser for this. This is just me. If you have an advertiser on your site, you can choose them. And then um, when you're done creating these ads, you can go down to related invoices and you can automatically generate a new invoice to send to them. Um, or you can link it to an existing invoice. So that's very cool. So first thing you wanna do is select a zone and we'll do test zone. 
which is the zone we just made. And now from here, you can choose the different ad type. So if you are doing um, a, well, okay, we'll just go in order. If you're doing a text ad, this is where you would put the target URL where the text goes. And this is where you would put the text. And if you wanted to open a new tab, you would check here. That's super, super easy um, to see and understand. And you probably didn't even need me to tell you that. You probably just could have read it. Next, let's show an image ad, uh, which is going to be almost exactly the same as a text ad, except you would upload the image right here. Next, we have a listing ad. And for here, you would just click the drop down and search your listings to find the listing that you want to display for that ad. And then finally, we have HTML ads. And these are cool if you're like doing Google AdSense on your site. This is where you would put the AdSense code or any other third party um, advertising programs like that. Now let's go ahead and we'll do a test ad. Um, so we'll just put text. We're just gonna put uh, test. And then we're gonna just put here, I'll put my website address and then hit publish. And then let's head back to zones and go ahead and grab that short code. And then I'm just gonna go to pages. Let's see what page I could put this on. Actually, let me just, so I don't mess with my stuff, I'll just go ahead and create a test page real quick. All right, so let's do a quick title. I'm obviously being very creative here. Click publish, click publish. And then, oh, let me go ahead here. I'll just put the short code here. You guys know how to work the page builder, so I don't have to show you in, um, in Elementor. And you should know how to use the blocks also if you're you're doing this um, tutorial just in case, you know, click the plus sign, search for short code. There we go. Paste the short code in, hit update, and then go ahead and view the page. And there you go. There's the test link that we made. See the advertise here um, link is there. And then when I click test, it is going to go to my website. So there you go. We are all done. We learned how to set up the advertising add-on for GeoDirectory and get ads on your site. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're making your own website, I have a really helpful freebie for you in the description. Uh, it's a nine-step website roadmap that tells you exactly what you need to do to get your website live. Thank you so much for watching.